Hi, welcome to science lesson. We have already finished our topic, so this lesson is going to be revision. If you take note, you will not forget the topic, and please subscribe YouTube channel. All right, let us start our lesson. Chapter eight: Earthquake. There are two sections. What is earthquake? And Earthquake measurement. An earthquake is the shaking and vibration of Earth's crust due to tectonic plate. That means movement of plate or movement of crust layers or lithosphere. Seismology is the study of earthquake. Where do earthquake occur? Most of earthquake take place near the edge of the tectonic plate. Tectonic plate, tectonic plate move in different direction and at different speed. They can collide, divide, and also pass like each other. That means move horizontally. As a result of this movement, called faults exist in the Earth's crust. That means earthquake happen on surface layer. As as tectonic plates push, pull, or slip past each other, stress increases along the fault near the plate. In response to this stress, rock is in the plate deformed. Deformation is, is the change in the shape of rock in response to stress. Plastic deformation, which is shown in figure 2, does not lead to earthquake. Seismology, study of earthquakes, as I told you before. Deformation, the bending, tilting, and breaking of Earth's crust, the change in the shape of rock in the response to stress. Elastic rebound, the sudden return, elastically deformed rock, its undeformed shape. That's one short summary from section one. Let us check the section two. Locating earthquake, how do seismologists know when and where earthquake begin? They depend on an earthquake sensing instrument called seismograph. Seismograph are instruments located at or near the surface of Earth that record seismic waves. When the waves reach a seismograph, the seismograph creates a seismogram. A seismogram is the tracing of earthquake motion and create by seismograph. That means earthquake happen on crust layer, as I told you, and seismograph working on earth crust. Seismograph, an instrument that records vibration in the ground and determines the location and strength of an earthquake. Seismogram, a tracing of earthquake motion that is created by seismograph. Epicenter, the point of Earth's surface, directly above on earthquake starting point or focus. Focus is an important, don't forget focus, the point along a fault at which the first motion of earthquake occurs. That means earthquake starts from focus, that is a point there is a place called focus. The Ritter magnetic scale. Seismologists use the Ritter magnetic scale, commonly called the Ritter scale, to measure the strength of earthquake. That means the power of earthquake. Ritter wanted to measure ground motion recorded by seismograph at the seismograph station in station. Table 1 shows the difference in the estimated effect of earthquakes with the each increase of 1 unit of magnitude. As you see, magnitude it is showing the power of earthquake. For example, for example magnitude 1, it is the first level of uh, Richter, Richter scale. According to Richter scale, the 2, magnitude 2, can be detected by, only by seismograph. As I told you before, Every day, at least three thousand earthquakes happen, and most of that, most of them, 
we cannot understand. But the seismograph can understand, can measurement. So in two magnitude two, uh, seismograph can measure, but the human being cannot feel. It is on the first level of uh, scale. What about the last level? Seven can cause and destroy cities, houses, or trees. It is on the last level according to uh, Ritter magnetic scale. Another uh, measurement in Markili scale, that is, there are 12 levels. The first level, people cannot feel any ground motion as like the Ritter scale, but of course, the seismograph can measure. In second level, there are 12 levels, I told you. First level, human being cannot understand, cannot feel, but the seismograph can measurement. Second level, few people may notice ground motion if they were resting. What about the last level? For example, uh, level 11. Most buildings collapse, bridges are destroyed, big cracks appear in the earth. What about the last level? Almost everything is destroyed. Things are thrown into air. The earth moves like a wave. Masses of rock many may move too. So even it is destroyed uh, roads. So it is last level of Markili scale. All right, let us check some question here. The first question: What kind of deformation lead to earthquake? Plastic deformation, convergent deformation, elastic deformation, shear deformation. So let us check. Elastic deformation, however. Does lead to earthquakes. Rock can stretch further without breaking than steel can, but the rock will break at the same point. At that mean answer will be A. Plastic deformation. Question two: Most earthquakes occur along the edge of tectonic plate, wave boundaries, seismic gap at the center. So, students. Most of the earthquakes take place near the edge of tectonic plate. Tectonic plate move in different directions at the different different speeds. They can collide, divide, and also pass like each other. That means move horizontally. As a result of this movement called fault, exists in the Earth's crust. And the tectonic plate part of Earth's crust or part of uh, lithosphere. Question three: Straight, straight slip faults are created by convergent motion, transcontinental motion, transform motion, divergent motion. All right, as you see, transform motion occurs when two plates slip past each other. That we move horizontally, as you see here. Transfer motion creates six slip faults, blocks of Cross slide horizontally, that means move horizontally past each other. So, according to those information, it is going to be C transform motion. Question 4 What is the degree to which people feel an earthquake and how much danger damage it has caused? Intensity, magnitude, Richter, frequency. A measure of degree to which an earthquake is passed by people and the amount of damage caused by earthquake, if any, is called intensity. So, answer will be A. Question 5. Which of the following is a type of plate motion? Elastic motion, convergent motion, reverse motion, rebounded motion. Here, there are three kinds of plate motion. Here, transform, convergent, and divergent. Here, there is only convergent motion here. So, answer will be D. A specific type of plate motion takes place at different tectonic plate boundaries. Each type of motion creates a particular kind of fault. 
that can produce earthquake. For example, transform which kind of produce which kind of fault? Six leg fault. That means uh, move horizontally. Convergent produce reverse fault. Divergent that means two cross layers move opposite side is normal fault. So uh, answer will be. Question 6. Which of the following is a type of body wave? So, shear wave, reverse wave, surface wave, transform wave. A wave of energy that travels through, a, through the earth are called seismic wave. Seismic wave that travel through the earth's interior are called body wave. There are two types of body wave, P waves and S waves. Seismic waves that travel along the Earth's surface are called surface waves. So answer will be uh, C. Question 7. The instrument used to detect earthquake is uh, seismogram, seismograph, hydrometer, barometer. So they depend on earthquake sensing instrument called seismograph. Seismograph are instrument, your instrument, located at or near the surface of Earth that recording seismic waves. According to that, answer will be seismograph, not seismogram. It is different. Seismogram, part of seismograph. All right. Eight. Question eight. What scale is used to measure the strength of an earthquake? Seismogram, gap hypothesis, rate magnitude, modified Mar Markelli intensity. Seismologists used to Ritter magnitude scale, commonly called Ritter scale, to measure the strength of the earthquake. Ritter wanted to measure ground motion recorded recorded by seismogram at the seismograph according to uh, the definition here you can see here measure the strength of earthquake so what is it Ritter magnetic scale here the answer will be uh, C question 9 students which of the following statements is false most earthquakes occur at the plate boundaries the time and location of most major earthquake can be known several days in the advance. That means before two three days, we can understand it is going to be earthquake. See, earthquake can be caused by normal, reserve, and strict slave fault faulting. P waves travel faster than both S waves and surface waves. Answer will be B, but let us check the others. Most of earthquakes take place near the edge of tectonic waves. It is true. They can collide, divide, and also pass by each other. It is true because it is kind of fault. So they are also true. P waves travel 60% faster than the S waves. Also, this one true. So answer will be uh, B. Question 9. What is the point origin of earthquakes? Epicenter. Focus, seismograph, tectonic plate. The point, the point where an earthquake originates is called seismic, seismic focus. It is just above the Earth's epicenter on the Earth's surface. So answer will be uh, focus. Here focus, center of uh, earthquake. That means earthquake start from that point. The point is called uh, focus. Question 12. Earthquake can occur with the faulting, normal, reserve, fast, all of this. As I told you, earthquake happen on plate motion. There are three types of plate motion. Trans transform plate motion, convergent plate motion, divergent plate motion, and 
transform motion is fixedly false. Uh, convergent reverse fault, as you see, it's reverse fault. Divergent normal fault, strictly fault. It is trust fault. It's the same same thing. So all of them. The answer will be C. Question thirteen. Body wave consists of the P waves only, S waves only, P and S waves, and surface waves. Waves of energy that travel through the Earth are called seismic waves. Seismic waves that travel through the Earth's interior are called body waves. There are two types of body waves, P waves and S waves. Seismic waves that travel along the Earth's surface are called surface waves. That means answer will be uh, D. Alright. Question 14. What is the the focus with the respect to the epicenter, directly below the epicenter, directly above the epicenter, in the P wave and shadow zone, and in the S wave. So let us check. An epicenter is the point on Earth's surface directly above an earthquake starting point. A focus is the point inside the Earth where an earthquake. For example, this is a uh, focus. Below the focus is called epicenter. So directly above, uh, sorry, not below, above. Directly above the epicenter. So answer will be uh, C. Question 15. Where does the first motion of an earthquake occur? Fault. Epicenter, focus, locus. It is very easy question. I told you before. Focus, the point along a fault and at which the first motion of an earthquake starts. So focus. Let us check here. Is on focus. That's on focus. Is on epicenter. Uh, what is focus? Focus, the starting point of earthquake. 